real estate terms can be really confusing. This is Mary Jo at Remax Results, and I'm here with my friend Laura, who's also a past client. Hello. So Laura called me up one day after we've had three transactions, and Laura, what did you tell me? I said, Mary Jo, I don't know what you're talking about. And I said, why didn't you ask? It was kind of embarrassing. I didn't want to admit. So yeah. you asked? I asked my husband. I'm like, hey, what is she talking about? And he says, you know, I don't really know. I'm, I'm going to Google it, though. We'll be all right. Okay, so that's a problem. My job is to make sure that you understand not only every step of the way and we get the closing, but you actually have a clue on what it means. So if Laura and her husband didn't understand it, I'm guessing a lot of people don't understand. So if you think you're the only one, you're not. It's a big pool. So let's start out with the word amortization. I can't even say the word. Here. Okay, amortization. It comes from the Latin mort meaning dead or to kill. So you are killing off a loan month by month. You will get an entire schedule of all 30 years. Every step, every month, you're killing off a piece of your debt. I like that. Okay, that's good. Got it? Yeah, got it. CD. It's, it's I think a CD and I think of those uh, things where you know, we used to listen to them, they're, they're going away now. Yeah, right? they're going away. No, that's not it. It's a lending term. And what it means is it's a closing document. The lender is required to give you three days before closing. And on that document, it's basically a settlement statement. It's an accountability, accounting for everything that you're being charged for, what your monthly payment will be, and how much you need to bring to closing. Oh. So three days before closing, you have to have that. And that, again, is because... During the boom, people were making it up and they go, oh, that was only an estimate. You get to closing and people were confused. There were too many changes in loans. So it's by law that they have to do that. And it's called a CD. It'll be a closing document or closing disclosure. Okay. And so just to confirm here, then it's just a document that's showing me everything that I'm being charged. Right. In advance of closing. Okay. Got it. All right. P-I-T-I. It's a pity I didn't know what CD meant. Okay. <clears throat> got your principal which okay that's how much you're paying for a property so much. Okay. I, uh, interest you want that to be a low rate we want that very low very low taxes you want that low too yes and insurance so what the principal is not it doesn't change it's not variable you want to have a fixed interest rate over the whole period of the loan. You don't want a variable because a variable can change. It can go up. Can it ever go down? Mm, never goes down. Okay. Taxes, taxes can change. That's the wild card. And your insurance, which should be pretty stable for the life of the loan. So it's principal, principal. interest, taxes, and insurance. Okay. Makes sense? That makes sense. Okay. LOX. At the Lorax? Is that abbreviation for the Lorax the movie? Or? No, I thought it was uh, an airport near LAX, but it's not. Oh. L-O-X means letter of explanation. Well, okay, but explanation starts with the E, so shouldn't it say low? Should, but it doesn't. L-O-X, letter of explanation. When would you need that? If you were given a large gift by someone, you had to explain that. Okay. If you had a gap in employment, uh, if you were on maternity leave for a long time, um, there are various reasons why you might have to write a letter of explanation. Now, is this for the lender? I mean, like, I don't understand. Usually, right. We have, okay. You don't need to explain very much to me. It's just, I like this house, not that house. Oh, That's okay. really what I need. Lenders, underwriting wants to know everything about your finances. Everything. Okay. Okay, here's one I'm pretty sure you'll know. A VA loan. Oh, okay. So my husband was approved for that loan because he served right. in the military. Um, I, we got a pretty good rate and yeah, so. VA loans are wonderful. Uh, it's something that the Army or the military did get right. Uh, you can get in for a zero down, and it's a lower interest rate. There is no limit to how much you can buy with a VA loan. 
And the interesting thing about VA loans is that the VA audits every single loan to make sure that the, the veterans were well served, that they weren't overcharged, and that they have the best interest rate available at the time. So it's a, it's a great protection for those who have served in the military. I will say the, the VA doesn't do a really good job of selling it. Um, people say, I want my VA loan, but they really don't know what it means. But it's, it's a great loan. I yeah, know, it was, it was really lucky for us to have that, so it helped us out a lot. It does. It helps a lot of veterans out, and it's a great loan. So if that helps a little bit with those terms, I have a whole list of 20 terms right below. Click on it, and you'll see what Laura thinks and then what it really means. Yeah, sorry, people. I, I had no clue. So, so and if you have no clue, and I'm sure you don't, check it out.